Rewind and in Columbia Heights, Lord, and here that your presence was felt, Lord. Yes. And that your spirit is moving among the people of this city and of the surrounding areas, God. And we want to take time to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. We want to take time to say thank you for always meeting us where we are. For always meeting us at the altar, Lord. And for constantly working in the lives of your people, God. We want to exalt you for everything that you did today already, Jesus. Lord, there were seeds planted today. Seeds that may take years to grow and develop. But God, they were planted nonetheless, Lord. And your word is a sure thing, God. We rest in your word. We have faith in your word, Lord, that you will accomplish that which you have promised, Lord. So we come to you tonight, Jesus. And we open ourselves up again. Open vessels, God. We open our hearts and our minds, Lord Jesus. And we ask for another experience. Another filling of the Holy Ghost, God. We want to be filled with the Spirit, Lord, as they were that day in Acts. While they prayed and prayed and prayed. And that room shook, God. And great grace came upon them. And the ability to do signs and wonders rested upon the people, God. We want to recreate that tonight. We want to enter that part of your presence tonight. We want to commune with you on that level tonight, God. To be refreshed, God. To be able to walk above the circumstances of this world. Lord, and to see it as you see it, Lord. In need of saving. In need of compassion. And in need of your love, God. Jesus, give us your eyes to see tonight. And do us with grace. And do us with compassion tonight. Lord, make us better people. Make us better Christians tonight, we pray. Lord, conform us to your wonderful image. In the name of Jesus, we ask. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. We exalt your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the opportunity to be in your house today, Lord. To offer you praise and to worship to your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us for the hand of protection that's upon us, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord, for the opportunity, Lord, hallelujah, that in spite of everything that's going on, Lord, you allow us a moment to come and shut everything else out, Lord, and dedicate our mind to you, Lord, and put our attention on you, Lord, hallelujah, that you would fill us with your spirit, Lord, that an anointing will come upon us, Lord, hallelujah, that you will open our eyes, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Thank you, God, for tonight, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God, for filling us with your spirit, God. Thank you, God, for filling us with hope, oh God. With hope, oh God. With hope that is alive, God, Lord Jesus. I was empty, God. I was empty and hopeless, God. But you gave me hope, God. You gave me, Lord, truth, God. Lord, you gave me, Lord Jesus, a vision, Lord Jesus. Lord, and I thank you for it, God. Lord, I thank you for love, God. I thank you for the love, God, of your spirit, Lord Jesus. I thank you for the love in this place, God. Lord, the love that I feel today, God, in the people, through the people, God, by your spirit, Lord Jesus. Lord, that we are accepted by one another here, God. That no matter what's going on in the world, God, I can come into your house, Lord Jesus. And your people abide here, God. And they love me, God. And I love them, Lord. We are, we are strung together with your Holy Spirit, God. And I thank you for it, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray your Spirit tonight, God, guides us, oh God. Lord, with signs and wonders following, Lord Jesus. These signs and wonders shall follow those that believe. That's Brother Samson. Lord Jesus. Lord, that you, your word would go forth with power and anointing tonight, God. And Lord Jesus, Lord, these graduates, God, that you would bless them, oh God. Lord Jesus, your hand to be upon them, oh God. 
Lord Jesus, that your kingdom would come in their lives, God. And Lord Jesus, you destroyed the works of the darkness, God. And Lord Jesus, through us, God, your kingdom can come. Lord, it dismantled the darkness, oh God, in our city, God. Nothing is too hard for our God. Nothing is too hard for our God. With men, things are impossible. But with God, all things are possible. All things are possible. Thank you for that, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God, for that revelation, Lord Jesus, in my life, God. And Lord, it's in you, God. We trust in you. We trust in you, Lord Jesus. And Lord, Lord, it's such a great cloud of witnesses, oh God. It's, it's this, God. I thank you that we can encourage one another, Lord Jesus. And Lord, as we call out to the city, God, the spirit and the bride say, come, Lord Jesus. Even so, come quickly, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I thank you for our pastor, Lord, and his wife, sister, Satan, God. Thank you, God, for their life, O oh God. Lord, I pray with my brothers and sisters right now, God. Lord, for your power and your anointing and your hedge, Lord Jesus, to be upon them, O oh God. That your fire, O oh God, would ignite their spirits, O oh God. Lord Jesus, that no weapon that is formed against them will prosper, God. And Lord, your glory will run through them and out of their bellies will run rivers of living water, O oh God. And I thank you for them, O oh God. And I thank you for my brothers and sisters, God. Oh, thank you for your presence, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. Now, you can be seated. And, and just before we go into some worship, I'll ask Dan and Evelyn to uh, maybe give a little testimony. Praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know here, um, I'm a police officer for Prince George County. Um, last night, I received a call for, um, it was a carjacked vehicle, uh, and for carjacking, it's a person armed with a gun went up and robbed somebody's car. Um, and we got a call that this vehicle was parked at a certain location. And... As a squad, we kind of surrounded, made a perimeter around this vehicle and waiting for it to get occupied to catch the person who was responsible for this. And as the person got inside the vehicle, we began to pursue the vehicle. And about 30 seconds into the chase, he pulls into the McDonald's parking lot. And when he does, he tries to get away and in doing so, brings my car. Oh. And he was able to make good uh, his escape at that point and going down another side road and about 10 minutes later he ends up crashing into a fence and another patrol car went to my right and I go off to the left and I see him bail out of the car get out of his, the driver's side and go off to the left on the sidewalk and at that time I put my vehicle in park and I get out of my car to pursue him and as I look up he is going up towards a little hill and went behind the house. And at that time, I decided not to pursue him anymore. And so I decided to get my phone out, look at the maps on my GPS, and direct other officers on setting up a perimeter around this house. And when I look down on my phone, I get a phone call from my wife. And so I push decline, and I again start looking at the maps. And she calls back, and again I push decline. A few seconds later, I get a text saying, I just woke up from a bad dream, call me. So I respond, then pray, I'll call you in a minute. And then she says, I'm already praying. And so, uh, so that's where I was and, and during my night, and I would like to pass the microphone to her and tell her what happened. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Well, um, you know, as the, as, the, as the wife of a police officer, I, I always pray for him, right? And so that night before we went to bed, we went, it was an early night because we wanted to be in time on Sunday. So we went to bed at eight o'clock. Olivia goes, mom, you know, we gotta pray for dad. And I love my daughter for that. She never forgets to pray for her dad. Anyway, so we go to bed, we're sleeping, and then I have a horrible dream. It has nothing to do with Daniel. It has to do with my family. Um, there's some sickness and I'm praying for them and they're like, we don't need your prayers, stop praying. And I, in my dream, I'm like, no, I'm gonna continue praying. 
and I start speaking in tongues in my dream, and I wake up speaking in tongues. And um, so at that time, I realized Daniel's not home, you know, and it's, it's past midnight. I'm like, oh no, you know, what's going on? I get up and I call him. He declines to call. So, it, of course, I call again, and I'm like, if I ever call again, you have to pick up. He declines to call again. I'm like, uh oh. And then I text him, you know, I had a bad dream, just tell me you're okay. And he says, then pray. And um, and at the a moment I wanted to call pastor, but I was like, you know, I'm not gonna scare him. I don't know what's going on. In eight years, he's never told me to pray for him while he's at work. So I'm praying for him and, um, and I thank God, you know, that a vehicle rammed into him. He's okay, it could have been worse. I was so happy to see him when he came home last night. I was upon him and not just him but his squad you know it was it was a it was a guy with a gun things can go so wrong but God gave him the wisdom to stop the pursuit and let other people continue with like canine and the uh, not 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 like other people be in danger but with canine and with air one you know that have more resources than them just them in the on ground chasing in the dark so um, thank you and I praise God we never know who is uh, here with us and maybe uh, you have never uh, experienced the outpour of the Spirit where the Spirit of God prays through us in other tongues. According to the Bible, the book of Romans chapter 8, uh, the Bible tells us the Spirit makes intercession for us. The Spirit uh, knows how to pray for us yeah. and um, we just hear uh, I don't, you know at, those, at that point when things like that are happening you're not going to argue with anybody you're not if they don't want to believe it that's your business but for us we're going to allow God to intercede through us because it's a serious situation and uh, I think we ought to just stand we're going to go into worship but we ought to stand and give God thanks that God still intervenes miraculously in our life.